Longevity Forum is the first of its type in the world and its mission is to educate, inform and influence people about the, the fact really that people are going to be living much longer lives uh, in the next 20 or 30 years. Uh, we believe that life expectancy on the planet will rise to 110 to 120 within 20 or 30 years and as a result everything will change uh, for all of us. Uh, and it's the Longevity Forum's mission to get that message across to social influencers, politicians, people of import who will recognise that society has to make some fundamental changes. We think the Forum is unique because first of all it was the first of its type in the world. It's the focal point of a London Longevity Week that we hope to become established over the years. Uh, there'll be several other events around the Forum on November the 14th uh, this year, 2019. Uh, and there are chapters of the Forum developing around the world, including one in Muscat in Oman for the Middle Eastern region uh, next year in February, and we hope one in Australia towards the end of next year. It brings together key scientists, social scientists, politicians, influencers into one space from all around the world, uh, and it, it, it is a very key point of influencing governments to take action vis-a-vis -vis the longevity that we're all going to experience over the next 20 or 30 years. So much so that recently number 10 Downing Street, as an example, uh, had a seminar in Downing Street uh, on this very subject. So the government here is taking it seriously at least. We think that small molecules, which are drugs that you would be familiar with, like uh, penicillin or anti-ulcer drugs, but the equivalent in longevity will be the first line of attack in keeping us alive longer uh, than we would otherwise live, because we're the first generation on the planet for whom bioengineering is possible. But subsequently stem cells, organ regeneration, other forms of regeneration, including tissue regeneration, and then ultimately gene editing are the things that will keep people alive to first 110 or 120 as a matter of routine, and those technologies are here today but subsequently gene editing will be the reason why the first person to be alive to 150 is amongst us on the planet today. Well, if we look at just the UK economy, there are enormous opportunities. The UK is already the second most prominent centre for development of longevity therapies or pro-longevity therapies in the world after the United States. It's quite a long way behind the United States, but nonetheless it's catching up quite quickly. And the UK government has taken a very proactive approach. Sir John Bell, the Professor of Medicine at Oxford, has a £300 million war chest to devote towards this area, and the government is taking it very seriously. I mentioned earlier that in Muscat and Oman, which is another country that's taking it very seriously, there will be a longevity forum uh, in February of next year. So countries are beginning to get the message that this stuff is not science fiction, it's here today, and there are enormous economic opportunities uh, for uh, scientific advances to be translated into commercial success. And I'm very happy that the UK is one of the centres of excellence in this respect.